Okay. What is that, a rental? A rental? Yeah, what is that? Look at the dogs missed you. Oh yeah. What is this thing? It's a new toy. I think you got some explaining to do, pal. Yeah. Good morning, guys. And today's the actual birthday. Yeah. And Getting Chandler old. came up. See me? Yeah. We're gonna have to talk about this decision now. Yeah. What in the world? Let me lock this door and we gotta go somewhere. Yeah. Hey, what do you think of the trucks, bud? That's freaking sweet. It's a bit dirty right now. But, what do nice. you think? That's really nice. You like that tent life? That's super sweet. Oh, hit that remote start. Got that remote start oh, yeah. life. Well, it probably won't start because I've already started it twice. Huh? <laughs> That's super nice. Wow. Just black out some of the front. Yep. New headlights. Woo. You got new headlights, right? No. I got HIDs for it. HIDs, okay. 2015 has these stupid. Yeah, mine came with that too. Yeah, it's retarded. This did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look, it's got like the mini Duramax pipe that uh -huh. you already got filthy. Yeah, a little four banger Duramax. All right, we'll talk about this when we get back. <laughs> had this for a week. A week, okay. We're at our usual spot. Oh yeah. We gotta get some coffee here first. Chandler's just admiring. Dude, this thing is so sweet on the inside. Denali life. I thought you said you have the same thing. Well, it's not a Denali, <laughs> but it's, mine's close, but this is definitely, definitely a lot nicer on the interior. Yeah, this thing is super nice on the inside. Mm -hmm. Super happy of it. It's a lot better than your blue one was. Oh, hands down. Yeah. 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 So we're going to grab some coffee, then we got to go pick someone up. Oh, we're locked them out. Dude, this thing is fucking nice, bro. What's up, bud? What's up, man? Here, you can move that camera mount. Oh, over. shit. What's up, guy? Oh, I'm on camera. Heck yeah, you're on camera. <laughs> Happy make a birthday, bro. Today. Thanks, buddy. All the way from Linwood. Here we are. I know, you surprised me. <laughs> Chandler surprised me too. It came oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now we gotta go get truck parts. We are back to the house now, and I'm not gonna bore you guys and drag this video way out. Uh, we had to drop off Alex. He had some stuff to do. Big thank you to him for surprising me. But this is what we went and got for the truck. We got our new leveling kit lift kit whatever you might want to call it it is from rough country i will go ahead and link this down below for you this kit came with shocks control arms questionably front diff lowering brackets we'll see i don't think it needs them or if it has them i'm not too sure it does have the keys for our torsion bars and it has a two inch block for the rear with the new u-bolt so pretty straightforward kit i know there's some questions about the rough country shocks but anything is going to be better than our factory Rancho stock shocks that we have on here. And worst case, I can always switch those out. Then we can get rid of this rake action that we got going on here because that's pretty grandpa status. And we still need to talk to Chandler about his decisions and why he got rid of his Series Grey STI that you guys all have known on the channel. So I'm going to wait for him to come back out here. We're going to go over that and then we're going to get started on this lift kit. Look who came back out from hiding. Oh yeah. So I can attack him. Yeah. And why the hell you got rid of your car, pal? Time for something different. I wouldn't say less expensive, but I don't have to keep dumping money into it. The R word we don't talk about. You were a motor away from 800 wheel. Yeah, and then I would have kept breaking shit and dumping more money. So I figured I should probably get out of it while I'm still somewhat ahead and can sell parts, so. But Thank at you. least my parts are going on one of your customers' cars. I think your shifting was the questionable part of why you got rid of it. <laughs> well, that's what everyone said. That's terrible. Yeah, miss shift Chandler, but <laughs> yeah, it happens. So we're gonna check out your new truck. Yeah, let's, let's do go it. Check it out. Bam! What do you got? Uh, it's a 2021 ZR2 Colorado. So it's like the off-road model, I guess, of the the Colorado. So it's the only year I like the way the front ends look on them. So. Brand new, huh? Brand new. It's got less than 300 miles. miles on it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, drove it up in the hills last night and drove it here, and that's it. So, this is a little baby diesel. Yeah, a little four banger diesel. So, I mean, it does look better in person. It does. Looks, yeah. What are those lights? What are oh, the wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we put those on last night. Um, that's its like, uh, antennas. Antennas, <laughs> yeah. Little like a bug. Yeah, we got a, I mean, we've put quite a few things on it already, so. So you're going for the off-road look? Mm-hmm. 
Yep. What size tires are on it, stock? Uh, it's got like 31s. Yeah. So we'll put 33s on it. We got the leveling kit we need to put on. Yeah, and why didn't you bring it so we can put it on? Hmm? Why didn't you bring it? Because we're doing your truck today. Oh. We could have. Could have done both side by side. Baby Do you have spring compressors and, and everything? Ooh. Yeah, no. Yeah, see, see, our truck doesn't have springs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's but, see the inside of this thing. Yeah. Damn. Look, you already got it dirty. Mm -hmm. Oh, the new car smell though. I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm very jealous of your new car smell. Yeah. It does smell good. You did have a coffee. I did. Wow. Yeah, I left it. Six we're going for a ride in this later. <laughs> yeah. But for now, we're going to knock this out because the wife's going to kill me, even though it's my birthday. She is like, really? You're going to work all day? So she's probably going to kill me. So we're going to at least do the front of the truck today. See where it's at back might still be down a little bit that's fine that's easy to put blocks in but we're going to knock out the hardest part which is going to be the front today so we can get a, rid of our drag car stance <laughs> even with a trailer on this thing which you guys haven't seen in that video yet i had a trailer on this yesterday and it definitely did not level itself out and it, i mean it wasn't the lightest load so i can't do the rake look i know a lot of you are gonna be like that's what it's made for but i'm not going to be towing tens of thousands of pounds of this thing the race car weighs no more than 3,000 pounds and a trailer is probably 3,800 so no more than seven to 8,000 at most so this will be fine for me we definitely have no clue what we're doing not really not we'll at all it out, I don't though. even know I got the tools or the sockets <laughs> that fit this thing so I think it's gonna be a fun adventure definitely chilly out yeah better change my attire because we're in the nice clothes right now mm -hmm. so back to shorts no I'll probably find some pants we'll get this thing you didn't even think our jacks gonna hold this thing up? What are they know. rated to? We got our Daytona 3000. She's rated for... 5,000 pounds. <laughs> I think it says a three on it. So, I don't know. Stay tuned, I'm gonna change. And we're gonna find out. How fucked are we are there, bud? About a three ton? I think it yeah. looks so. Yeah. Think it'll work? Well, it'll work. You just gotta say your prayer first. <laughs> well, <laughs> might die. <laughs> Well, we quickly decided that I need some more tools. So some of the stuff that we have obviously is not big enough for old big D-Max here. Maybe for Mini-Max, but not big old D-Max. So we gotta go get, uh, I believe it's a 30 mil socket for our torsion key uh, tool. And I believe we need to get a 20 or 21 for the upper shock nut. So we're gonna go grab that from good old Riley's and we gotta take a rip in Mini-Max. Damn, what is that, lift pump? Woo! Man, this thing sounds pretty noisy. Put a cold air on it. Did you? Yeah. Already? Yeah, day one. Oh, I gotta hear this thing. Let's go. 200 miles, rest in peace warranty. Yeah. Rip it. <laughs> <laughs> we going crawling? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> we got that little field out there. Yeah. Man, yeah, we mounted, uh, we mounted the S Pod oh. 2 so it controls all your lights. And then we just drilled a, a hole in the back and then it's one wire that runs from here to your engine bay and then you can wire all the lights in there. Cause you got those hot boy lights. Mm -hmm. Leave it the hot boy channel like Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, they're useful. Well, we're cruising down to O'Reilly's. Once this thing's warmed up, we'll do a full rip ski for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we'll I hear that intake in here. Yeah, it's pretty loud. It was it's becoming a truck channel. Yeah. And we're back. We got some questionable tools. Hopefully. Not questionable in brand, but questionable in size. Because uh, we'll find out pretty soon. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Josh is actually going to be coming over soon to help us out, and we're going to see how these things fit. Mm -hmm. So let's get to work. And here's where you fail. That's the good sign. We're good, good to, sound. We're supposed to take this tool, <laughs> and we forgot to take this tool with us. And I guessed, and I guessed wrong. Damn it! Now we got to go back. Ah, oh. <laughs> Chandler. How fun being my chauffeur. Oh yeah. Well, we're back. We got the right size this time. It is a 28 millimeter, by the way. Oh, it's close. So now, first step, we're gonna loosen our front lug nuts because I guarantee you, old Harbor Freight mm -hmm. 3H drive impact ain't taking those lug nuts off. So we're gonna loosen those lug nuts up and then we gotta figure out where to jack this thing up and kind of learn as we go. I think we're gonna probably spray the bolts down very first. Got some good old free all. For those of you that wanna know, this stuff is awesome to use. Never had any issues. So we can get up at Riley's obviously. So we're gonna spray those, get the scene up in the air, figure out how to get the scene apart.
as you guys saw, definitely a learning curve with where to jack, where to place stuff. I have never worked on a truck, so this is all new to me. Chandler's in the background spraying down bolts. Definitely thank you. And this is what we're gonna be working with today. So we need to take off the upper control arm and we're gonna be replacing the shock in the front. So in order to do that, obviously we have a bolt down here. We have one bolt over there, over there. We have two shock bolts on the top and then one on the lower. So we're gonna go ahead and get our new lift kit, leveling kit, like I said, whatever you wanna call it, get it laid out, see exactly what we have and go from there. Hi guy. What's up? Showed up, coming yeah. to the party. Birthday. The Duramax party, duh. Dirty 30? Dirty 30, you, guy, in his 30s now. Why do you gotta bring it out? Now they all know. Yeah, you're a young man. I'm still 29, at heart. But we have, <laughs> we got our whole kit laid out here and it definitely does have diff drop. So we're gonna have some fun today. It starts out with doing our torsion bar keys. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We already measured our torsion bar key bolt. And now we need to get on the truck, take those out. So I'm gonna climb under there, show you guys what that is. Also, I'm gonna lube that bolt. And hopefully I don't die from these jack stands because they've never had this much weight on them. So let's see what happens. So we are under the truck here and this is gonna be our torsion key bolt. We have one on each side. We need to take this thing all the way out so we can get this out, which locks oh, the torsion bar the key. Like so I'm gonna need to do that. Then I can get our tool around here to push this key up to release that pin there or whatever you might want to call that. So Miss Brady's, get that bolt out of there. got step one done we got the new torsion bar keys in all set to where our measurements previous were so now we can go on to our next step here which I'm guessing is gonna be the front control arms but I'm gonna take a look out here read this book see what we got and go from there I'm not sure how much you can see. Obviously you just saw I got done finishing up the control arm and shocks, everything's all on the truck. We are now going to get some grease and a grease gun so we can grease these ball joints. And I need an 18 to tighten the uh, upper bolts on the shock. So 
I'll probably have to update this in the morning because it's going to get dark and it looks like it's trying to rain. So I'm going to get cleaned up, go get that stuff, get the wheels thrown on here and go enjoy the birthday night. So I'll see you guys in the morning. What's <laughs> up, guy? How's it going? We are back out here this morning and we got the truck all put together. Chandler's in my way, but she's all nice and level. We measured and it's really freaking close. We didn't put the rear blocks in because we think it's going to be not level, but today our new lights came in so we're going to be putting those in we got led switchbacks for this thing so this is what those look like if i can hold this bam clear lens they're white and then they do amber switchbacks for turn signal so these are plug and play chandler's going to start on this while i start cleaning up a little bit in the garage i do need to pop these uh mirrors off and it seems there's a bunch of videos recently anyways about this so i'm just gonna throw these in and that's probably gonna be the end of the video i do need to get an alignment done on this thing while we still have our stock wheels and tires on it and oh, oh i stepped in it son of a i blame i just heard it i blame chandler for that he got the grease gun all over the driveway bud happens but, but this thing, I guess I could have showed you. Here's what the new control arms look like since it was pretty dark last night. And I mean, there's our new shock that you probably can see a little bit, but it's all together. It rides really nice, actually. It rides a lot smoother than it did. So the Rancho stock shocks that everyone said ride rough, they definitely do ride rough. These rides a million times smoother. I've only been able to drive it really just down the road because we don't have a good alignment. So I gotta get that scheduled in, but we're gonna get these mirrors knocked out and we got some stuff to do with Josh today that you guys might see soon. Yeah. Into another day and checking up on the truck and those lights that we did install. Uh, we got this thing all lined and it kind of is nice that we got to wait a little bit because I get to give you guys my honest opinion on how it drives now with the new uh, Rough Country leveling kit on it. I did just leave the front end because it is 100% leveled now. And I do apologize if you guys hear some wind because it is windy this morning. Uh, rides much smoother than stock, 100%. Uh, the new alignment on the truck is much better. It always kind of pulled to the left a little bit since I got it. Now it drives 100% perfect. So definitely super happy of it, happy of how it looks. And if you made it this far into the video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at our brand new wheels for this thing. So those are inside, only two have come. We're not gonna get the other two for a couple days. Christmas and the holidays have definitely been Kind of making shipping slow so that is the unfortunate side but we did get those lights in and as you can see they look much better than the ambers that were in there and then if i hit my unlock here you can see they are switchbacks and they switch to the led that led is much brighter than this one here but i did find a kit that it does upgrade that so i'm gonna look into doing that so that way they match other than that super happy of how it came out let's take a look at these new wheels and get out of this wind because sunny out but it's deceiving it's pretty chilly so let's take a look here what we got you guys can say hi to the horse all right so let's take a look at these new wheels they're pretty crazy a little hot boy for me but you know what sometimes just gotta go hot boy i know chandler agrees <laughs> here we are guys boom they are tis wheels and here's the moment Oh man, these things look so good. If I get this damn thing to stay open, oh, we're just gonna fail. Ah! I'm trying to get these damn things to stay open for you guys. Boom. There's what we got, guys. So they are black with a machine finish. Pretty excited about those. These are 22 by 12s. So I had 10s on my other truck. And they're 20s and i didn't really like the skinny look having the duramax i want kind of the shorter squatty look i think this will be a happy medium they are negative 44 obviously they're going to stick out of the wheel well but not a crazy amount so excited to do this obviously you can tell i'm not lying i only got two wheels so and i'm still waiting on the tires i went ahead and went with 33s on this truck my last truck having 35s i didn't want to go that big so that is going to end out this video Hope you guys really enjoyed something different on the channel and we are doing a different build there's more parts coming and you guys all know me it's not going to stop it just looks 
So that's right, performance parts are on the way. You guys will see, and I'll see you in the next video. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. And I ain't slowing down, I ain't slowing down, I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground.